materials that you'll need to calibrate your pipette are your pipette, deionized water, a beaker for waste, a 50 milliliter beaker, deionized water in a spray bottle, and a pipette bulb. Start by running deionized water through your pipette. Dry the outside of your pipette with a paper towel. If your pipette is clean, you should see no water droplets inside of it. If there are any water droplets inside of your pipette, this indicates that your pipette is not clean and it should be cleaned before use. Ensure that the outside of the pipette is dry so that any residual water droplets seen are not on the outside. As you can see here, I've done an inspection on my pipette, and I can see no water droplets inside of it up to the volumetric mark. In this pipette, we can see water droplets underneath the volumetric line, which would indicate that this pipette is not clean and would need to be cleaned before use. Start by weighing a clean 50 milliliter beaker on the analytical balance to the nearest milligram. When using the balance, ensure that your 50 milliliter beaker is centered. Record the mass of your 50 milliliter beaker in your lab notebook. Take water up into the pipette past the volumetric line. When taking up water into your pipette, ensure that the tip of the pipette doesn't touch the bottom of the beaker as the tips are very fragile. Release your pipette bulb and using your hand without the glove, cover the top of the pipette so that water cannot escape. Carefully release water to the point where the meniscus lines up with the volumetric line. If lined up correctly, it should look like this. Release the water into the 50 milliliter beaker that you weighed before. Wait for the pipette to completely drain. This should take about 20 seconds. After your pipette has completely drained, carefully touch the tip to the side of the beaker. A small amount of water should remain in the tip of the pipette. These pipettes are specifically calibrated so that this should not affect the amount of water that you've transferred. Reweigh the 50 milliliter beaker that you've just transferred water into. Determine the mass of water that you've just transferred. Using the density of water at the temperature of the laboratory, determine the amount of water that's been transferred. Compare this value to the theoretical amount of water that should have been transferred with the pipette. Your experimental value should agree with your theoretical value within 0 0.003 milliliters. Repeat this procedure three times total. Your results for each trial should agree within 0 0.003 milliliters. Average these results to determine the absolute error of your pipette.